My doctoral research has focused on rheometry, which is the art or practical science of measuring a material function, like a viscosity, of a material as it flows or deforms. A major challenge in rheometry is the characterization of viscoelastic liquids at very large deformation rates on the order of a million inverse seconds, which are found in applications from the chewing of foodstuff to industrial applications like coating flows or flows to porous media. Conventional rheometric techniques are ill-suited to these high deformation rates on the account of the onset of flow instabilities like inertial turbulence, which confound the accuracy of the measurements at these high deformation rates and generally limit the reliability of these techniques to deformation rates at most of around 1,000 inverse seconds. To overcome these limitations, I focused on using microfluidic devices for high deformation rate rheometry. A major advantage of these devices is their small length scales, generally as small as the size of a human hair, and which generally ensures that inertial effects are negligible. On the other hand, a major challenge in using these devices for rheometry is that it's often quite difficult, at least compared to conventional techniques, to relate a strain rate in the material, or how quickly the material is deforming, to a stress in the material, or how much internal friction or resistance that material has to being deformed. My solution to this challenge is to combine velocity measurements, which enable me to see inside the microchannel and how the material is deforming, pressure measurements, which enable me to measure the pumping power or energy dissipation associated with deforming the material, and finally, flow-induced birefringence measurements, which provide an additional measure of stress and molecular orientation of the material based on polarized light microscopy. I've also collaborated with researchers at the Harvard Medical School on the topic of flow-induced particle migration in microchannels, often called inertial focusing. This phenomenon has been proposed as a breakthrough technology for applications in flow cytometry, or also the isolation of rare or diseased cells from the bloodstream. The challenge, however, is that real physiological fluids, like blood, are non-Newtonian, and therefore both the fluid inertia and elasticity are simultaneously relevant in governing the particle migration behavior. This is a regime that has not been thoroughly studied, and so we have used the same techniques I have been using for studying microfluidic rheometry to study this phenomenon. In our experiments, we see a clear difference between the migration behavior in a Newtonian fluid like water or a buffer solution and in a viscoelastic polymer solution. In a Newtonian fluid, inertia tends to drive the particles or cells toward the wall where the shear rates are very high, generating a three-streak image when visualized from below on a microscope. On the other hand, polymer solutions offer the potential benefit that they usually drive particles toward the channel center, away from regions of high shear rate and high stress, which could be beneficial for long-term viability of the cells. Overall, my doctoral research has focused on developing a basic tool set and framework for using microfluidic devices to characterize viscoelastic liquids at large deformation rates. Having this tool set is of significant importance for the oil industry, in the production of food and consumer products, and in point-of-care diagnostics for biomedicine.